So well, this is note name. Turns out that um, yeah, I wasn't recording. Nice, but now I am recording. At least I hope so. And yeah, today I want to show you something new um, from my computer in vanilla Minecraft. If you call Minecraft functions vanilla, um, yeah, uh, you might have seen my previous video about this command editor. And um, first of all, let's clear the program. And what I want to show you today is um, the recognizer. It's kind of like the parser. If you don't know what that is, well, it won't get any better <laughs> in the next few minutes. So you should know something about computer science and so on and pro programming. So basically, I'm writing a um, basically, I'm writing. Shit. Basically, I'm writing a function stuff, a compiler that compiles the program you program in here. You know, programming stuff. Uh, sorry. All right. So now we have a blank program, <coughs> and yeah, we can write some commands in here. This interface isn't finished, as you can see. And it only contains the basic commands for the program structure, like declarations, functions, if statements, and so on. And yeah, I need a compiler because I have to check if these things are in the correct order. I don't have to check the syntax for every individual command since you can't do everything. Uh, you can't do anything wrong with that, since you have this um, interface here. But yeah, these commands have to be in a certain order. Um, uh, let's do something. No, I don't want to keep that. So let's go down here. And everything is based on functions. So if I create a function called loop without parameters, <coughs> and here I add the return thing. Um, if I want to use any variables in here, I need to declarate them first. So I have to give them a name, but this is not allowed because I decided so. And um, you have to make the declarations um, before the function. So. You can now use a function called lol inside. Uh, you can use the variable called lol inside this function. If I add another function here, I won't be able to use that variable again. I have to declare it again. Um, so I have to check that the basic structure, declaration, function, declaration, function, and so on. And inside the function, I also have to check for if statements and while statements. Um, like this. So every while statement needs a while end at the end. And this is a correct program. So let's run a recognizer and it will say finished successfully. But if I, oh, I have to do that. If I add an if statement in here, da -da -da, like this, but I don't put an if end in here, the recognizer will uh, tell me so because at line seven it saw a new um, command, the end of a while loop, and the if statement has to end before that while loop. But it didn't, so it told me there's an error here. Um, so I can, uh, yeah, do this. Add an if end here. Run the uh, recognizer again, and it will tell me everything is correct. And things get more complicated if you, for example, add another if statement in here. But I can uh, yeah check that as well. So it needs another if and 
is it where it is and if I run it again it will also get wet where that's a nested if statement and that's no problem oops I have to set it to zero again but if I do something like this if da -da -da, da -da -da, and if and that's a correct if statement but it's not inside a function so it will tell me so arrow at line 30 and if I add um, a function like this return um, and run it again it it's a correct um, function you don't have to declare it variables unless you need some and yeah it finished successfully once again and that's basically what this thing is doing it just checks the basic structure of a program and if it's correct it will move on with the next step of a compiler which is comparing variables so if you declare it, um, a variable called lol it will get the id 0 and if there's another variable called uh, lol inside this function it will give it the id 0 as well and this will get the id 1 and so on of course only if you have declarated it first um, yeah unlike here and because the, um, the computer won't check these names every time it will uh, run actually run the, uh, the program it will do that at the beginning and then all these variables will just have numbers from 0 to 1023 and the computer will work with that because that's a lot faster to run and yeah that's what I'm going to do next all right I hope you enjoyed it vi uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you aren't as confused as me um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.